If you've got the DJI Neo and you're shooting in 4K, you may be making a big mistake. Stay tuned to learn why. So the DJI Neo has been out for a little while and we've flown it quite a bit. FPV, automated features, as well as with just a normal controller. And it's a ton of fun to fly. But for the video quality and the flying experience, shooting in 4K 30 is actually not that great. And I'll tell you why, because 30 frames per second when you're flying FPV, particularly with the goggles on, looks very jittery. It doesn't have the smooth look that we're used to with the 4K 60. But the workaround is switch it over to 1080 and then you can put it in 1080 60. That gives you 1080 lines of vertical resolution with 60 frames per second, which looks a lot smoother than the 4K at 30 frames per second. Now, if you were gonna shoot with the Neo indoors or outdoors flying smooth and slow and not doing a lot of turns, the 4K 30 looks okay. Where you really see the 30 frames per second breakdown is when you yaw very quickly, which means turning like this, <laughs> that's a yaw, or if you're doing dives and things like that, it makes the video in the goggles look kind of jittery and can make you feel kind of nauseous. So we recommend that if you're flying slow and steady, you can fly in 4K 30. If you're flying faster, doing a lot of yawing and doing FPV stuff, switch it over to 1080 60 and you'll have a much better flying experience and your footage will look better. So right now I have the phone connected so we can screen record what I'm seeing in the goggles on my phone. For most people, they think by default, 4K is gonna be better footage. And it's bigger, right? It's more pixels, it gives you more resolution, but the smoothness of it is really a big factor. And I honestly would take 1080 60 stretch to 4K anytime over native 4K at 30 frames per second. And let me show you why. So when I put on the goggles here, right now I am sitting on the, the takeoff table. I'm gonna go down here to settings. I'm gonna go to camera. And right now I have it in 1080 60. So I'll go ahead and do that first. We've got Rocksteady on, and I'll show you what it looks like both in the goggles and in the final footage. So we're in normal mode, so we go down and in, start the motors. Take off. And in normal mode, it's pretty easy to zip around inside. One of the things I really like about the Neo is flying indoors. It doesn't have a lot of mass, so if you bump into something, it's not gonna hurt anything. But as you can see, I'm doing a fair amount of yawing. By that, I mean turning on axis to the right, coming back through, yawing to the left, going up over these lights, Back around, back over here, more yaw. And now I'll come in and try to land on the table. Whoa, I <laughs> almost missed it. All right, so that was 1080, 60 frames per second. Now we'll switch over and we will go to settings and we will go to camera, and we will go to 4K 30 frames per second. And take off again. And already, even just going up, I could see the jitteriness. So if you look over here at Chris, and I just go whoop, whoop, or I just yaw back and forth, you see how jittery that looks? Oh my goodness, it is jittery. So as I fly around, kind of do the same path I just did a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago with the uh, drone in 1080-60, I'm just looking at all this jitteriness every time I yaw. It's, it's like, almost like a flash, like it's flashing as it shows me the image. So it just doesn't feel very good to your brain or to your eyes. And 
I don't think it looks very good as you, as you yaw that much. So there's the two different camera settings. 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080 at 60 frames per second. I know for Chris and I, the flying experience is much better with 60 frames per second because it doesn't look as jittery, it looks smoother, and you feel like you can actually see a little bit better because you don't have all this shakiness. And then in the final footage, I would prefer to have the 1080 60 frames per second upscaled to the 4K at 30 frames per second in its native resolution. So you can also fly it with the RC2 and you can change that setting. Right now you can see I have it at 4K 30 down here in the lower right. But if I click on that, I can switch it to 1080p and then I can switch it to 60 FPS and we can see the difference. So this is 1080p, 60 FPS, 60 frames per second using the RC2 and image looks great and amazing. I'm so glad you can fly this with the RC2. That makes me very happy. So we'll do a quick yaw here, very smooth at 60 frames a second. Now let's try it with the RC2 at 4K 30. So switch to 4K and it will only do 30, so that's the only option you get. You can see as long as you're going straight and just not making a lot of turns, it looks okay. But as soon as you start to yaw, I will say actually that it's not as pronounced on this controller to me. Like like the yaws, I can see a little bit of flicker, but it doesn't seem as like just painful as it was in the goggles. And I think that's just because you're not as immersed. So here I come up over these lights, coming back around, hit the wall. There we go, that's the beauty of the ducted props. Just for fun, let's try this little gap. Look at that. So hopefully you could see the difference between 4K 30 and 1080 60. 1080 60 is a lot smoother, particularly to your eyes when you're wearing the goggles, not as much on the RC2 when you're flying with this screen. It doesn't look quite as bad, but I still think the footage looks smoother at 1080 60 versus 4K 30. Let us know what you think and leave a comment below about 4K 30 versus 1080 60. And if you think one is better than the other, let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. All right, I will try this. Oh, got it. Nice. Right now, I've got the camera set at 1080 60, and that is kind of helping me have a smooth flight experience in FPV. Whoop. <laughs> so I just had a impact with the ground. This came out of nowhere.